Hi there, it's Darren Rouse from ProBlogger.net. A few minutes ago on Twitter, I asked readers to submit some questions for me to um, to answer for them. And, and one of the questions that came in immediately was from uh, at Japan Newbie, who asked me, uh, how do you draw people's attention back to old content? Well, one, one of the problems that blogs bloggers face as they um, develop a blog over uh, years is, is that they end up with a whole heap of content in their archives that no one really sees. Uh, you may get some search engine traffic to it, but your new readers don't even really know to go and look for it. And, and so there's a variety of ways that you can do this. Uh, a number came to me just in the last few minutes as I've been thinking about that question. Uh, you'll notice um, on ProBlogger, I have a best of section. I also have one on, on digital um, photography school. I have a number of these um, popular post sections on, on that site. Um, so having a, a section on your blog, whether it be in your sidebar, whether it be on your front page, uh, whether it be in the navigation area and links to another page that, that highlights the best stuff or the stuff that you recommend. So on, on the front page of um, ProBlogger, you'll see the most popular posts of the last month, but you'll also see section there where uh, it says Darren recommends and, and some, some posts that I've hand-selected for people. So that's one way of getting people back to it. That section on the front page of ProBlogger is really hot. It gets a lot of clicks. Um, Another technique that I've used on Digital Photography School is to actually, uh, in the newsletter sequence that I've developed, um, I have it set up so that um, a, a, I think it's about 15, to th um, and then again at 30 days after someone signs up to that newsletter, they get a, a, an email that is purely links to old stuff, um, some of the best stuff on the site that, that people might have missed over the years. And so they get this email um, a couple of weeks after they sign up to the newsletter that basically highlights key content on particular topics. So on that photography school newsletter, there's one that goes through the basics of exposure. Um, there's another one that goes through the basics of taking a good portrait. And it, it just basically um, propels people deep into the site to old posts that they may not have seen before. Uh, another common technique for getting people to read your old posts is to um, have a section underneath your post that is related reading or further reading or recommended reading. Um, you can put this together manually every time you write a post or you can use a plugin. There's a variety of um, WordPress plugins that will do this for you by analyzing the keywords that you're using in your posts and looking at what else you've got in your archives. Um, these actually do get clicked. I find um, that they work best if I write them and I select them manually and um, have a, an extra section at the bottom of my post further reading or even in the post itself a link to previous um, posts that I've written and I find that that does get clicked on quite a bit. Um, the, another technique that I use, and, and bloggers often do this at the end of a year, they have a, a you know best of 2009, and they'll go back and they'll pr present a whole heap of links from the, the last year of their blogging. Um, you don't have to wait to the end of the year to do that. Um, a lot of successful blogs will do that uh, at the end of every month. They'll post the top five posts for that month. Um, some blogs, I know Lifehacker used to do this a lot, they would look back at what people were reading a year ago. So they would be highlighting one year ago today, this is what people were reading. Um, pretty much any excuse you can come up with to, to create one of those type of posts that look at old stuff that you've written uh, can be good. On, on DPS recently I did a um, our hottest tips of all time and I came up with 13 links to old stuff that we'd written over the last four years and um, basically introduced it. You know, there's so many new readers to this site at the moment, I wanted to um, allow you to catch up, I guess, on some of the stuff we've done before. So those best of type posts can work quite well. Another thing I do on Digital Photography School is to actually repost old content. Um, so I'll take a post and I'll just put the new date on it and I'll say this is an updated post and I'll, um, I'll update the post a little bit, might add some new pictures, might, might add some new information to, to the bottom of it and I'll just repost it. So just with the new date, bring it up to a current date and, and it goes live. Um, one of the things I'm able to do on DPS uh, in this way is I don't have the, the, the date in the URL um, and, and so it, it doesn't matter when I repost it or when I date it, it doesn't change that URL. So you might want to be a little bit careful about that if you've got your URL in, in the, uh, the permalink structure that you've got. Um, but I do that semi-regularly on DPS, probably every second week. I'll pick an old article that I've already published and I'll put it up there again 
and um, I'll give it a bit of a refresh and an update. And that's good in that, one, it puts um, your old content out there, and a lot of your readers don't even know it's old. But two, it also gives that, that page a bit of a boost in the search engines because all, all of a sudden it's it's fresh again. It's on the front page of your blog and you'll find that people will link to it um, as they link to, to all, all of your posts um, as it goes up. There's a whole heap of ways that you can um, get people going back to your old content. It's actually something that I think is well worth doing um, because otherwise a lot of your archives, a lot of the posts that you put a lot of time into will just be sitting back there and uh, will never be seen by anyone. So I'd encourage you to, to do that and to share some of the techniques that you use to get people back into your archives.